Hi, this is VPL. In this video, you are going to learn how OPAM can be used as a simple comparator. Here, I have taken an inverting terminal which is connected to a constant DC power supply that I call it as V reference. And then, I have got one more terminal that is non-inverting terminal here that will be connected to a input signal sinusoidal voltage VI. Okay. Now, what happens to my output? Let's check. You know that. V0 is equal to what? V0 is equal to open loop gain multiplied by V2 minus V1. Right? So, this can be written as A into VD. V2 minus V1 I can write it as VD. Differential voltage. Now, what I do? I just take case 1. Case 1 says that V reference is greater than VI. This VI is lesser than this V reference. What happens? See, V2 minus V1. So that what will be your VD? VD will be a negative value. Is that right? When V1 is greater, then what you will be getting? V2 is smaller means you will be getting negative value. So that I can write VD is equal to a negative value. So that what happens to your V0? V0 will be negatively saturated value. Since the gain is very very high, so that you will be getting negatively saturated cycle at the output. So next case 2. Case 2 says that when VI is greater than V reference, so what happens? You know that VD will become a positive value because V2 is greater minus smaller value means it is a positive value. So VD will be a positive value. So, I can write V0 is equal to positively saturated output you will be getting. The saturation is because of the high gain you have got. The value of the output which will be limited by this power supply voltage. That's why you are getting saturation at the output terminal. Let's write that in the waveform. See here, this is what V0 I write and then with respect to time. Okay. And power supply which is taken as ideal power supply value uh, plus V volt and this is minus V volt. Okay. So now what happens? During first case, first case what happens? You will be getting negative saturation like this. This is, say this says that V reference is greater. In the second case, V i is greater so that you will be getting positively saturated value. So it goes to positive cycle and it gets saturated because of high gain and then it comes down to zero like this. Okay. So saturation happens because of the high gain and you are getting positive cycle because V i is greater and you are getting negative cycle because V reference is greater. Based on the equation, I can say that when you are having positive cycle at the output, that says that your V2, V2 terminal which is connected to a signal here, this is greater. Okay. And then I just name this as V1 and V2 for clarity. If V2 is greater, what you will be getting? You will be getting positive cycle. When V1 is greater, you will be getting negative cycle. So that if I just observe output voltage at the output terminal, I can conclude that whether V2 is greater or V1 is greater. In this way, I can use op-amp as a comparator. Hope you like this video. Kindly like, share, subscribe for more videos and press bell icon to get upload notification. And don't forget to comment your topic of interest in the comment section. Thank you.